We're going to rejoin the president speaking to the National Urban League Convention in New Orleans, Louisiana. Let's listen. So in. many people who have a job can barely keep up with their bills. We don't need another trillion dollar tax cut for folks like me. We need tax cuts for working Americans, not for folks who don't need it and weren't even asking for it. Millions of Americans, including more than two million African American families, are better off thanks to our extension of the child care tax credit and the earned income tax credit. Because nobody who works hard in America should be poor in America. That's how strong communities are built. And by the way, when working folks have money in their pockets, businesses do well because they've got customers. And all of us grow. That's been the history of this country. I believe strong communities are built on strong schools. If this country is about anything, it's about passing on greater opportunity to the next generation. And we know that has to start before a child even walks into the classroom. It starts at home with parents who are willing to read to their children and spend time with their children and instill a sense of curiosity and a love of learning and a belief in excellence that will last a lifetime. But it also begins with an early childhood education, which is why we've invested more in child care and in programs like Early Head Start and Head Start that help prepare our young people for success. It's the right thing to do for America. Our education policy hasn't just been based on more money. We've also called for real reform. So we challenged every state in the country to raise their standards for teaching and for learning. And three years later, nearly every state has answered the call. We have seen the biggest transformation in terms of school reform in a generation. And we've helped some of the country's lowest performing schools make real gains in reading and math, including here in New Orleans. We've made it our mission to make a higher education more affordable for every American who wants to go to school. That's why we fought to extend our college tuition tax credit for working families, saving millions of families thousands of dollars. That's why we fought to make college more affordable for an additional 200,000 African-American students by increasing Pell Grants. That's why we've strengthened this nation's commitment to our community colleges and to our HBCUs. That's why tomorrow I'm establishing the first ever White House initiative on educational excellence for African Americans. So that every child, so that every child has greater access to a complete and competitive education from the time they're born all through the time they get a career. And that's why we're pushing all colleges and universities to cut their costs. Because we can't keep asking taxpayers to subsidize skyrocketing tuition a higher education in the 21st century cannot be a luxury. It is a vital necessity that every American should be able to afford. I want all these young people to be getting a higher education, and I don't want them loaded up with tens of thousands of dollars of debt just to get an education. That's how we make America great. Of course, that means all of y'all got to hit the books. I'm just saying, don't, don't cheer and then you didn't do your homework. Because, because that's part of the bargain. That's part of the bargain. America says, we will give you opportunity, but you've got to earn your success.
You're competing against young people in Beijing and Bangalore. You know, they're not hanging out. <laughs> they're not getting over. They're not playing video games. They're not watching Real Housewives. I'm just saying, it's a two-way street. You've got to earn success. That wasn't in my prepared remarks. <laughs> but I'm, I, I'm just saying. I believe strong communities are places where you and your family can work and save and buy your home. That's why we've helped more than a million responsible homeowners. These are folks who are making their payments. Refinance their mortgages at these historically low rates, saving thousands of dollars every year. Because people who did everything right shouldn't pay the price for somebody else's irresponsibility. So now we want to expand that refinancing opportunity to every homeowner who's making their payments on time. And while we're at it, let's put construction workers back on the job because they've been hit by the housing bubble bursting. Let's, let's put them back on the job, not only rebuilding roads and bridges and ports, but also rehabilitating homes in communities that have been hit by foreclosures, businesses that have been hit hardest by the housing crisis. That creates jobs, it raises property values, and it strengthens the economy of the entire nation. Strong communities are healthy communities because we believe that in the richest nation on earth, you shouldn't go broke when you get sick. And after a century of trying and a decision, a decision now from the highest court in the land, Health care reform is here to stay. We're moving forward. Don't you dare touch that dial. You heard the president say don't look at the Real Housewives. We'll have more of the president's remarks from the National Urban League Convention after the break. Stay tuned.